What's up guys, Gaming Zed and welcome back to Pro Mode 2022 for episode number 3 of the Garmin Cervelo career mode. Hopefully the first one this season without any technical issues. I am praying to OBS that it works. Because I do not understand what's been happening the past couple of days. It makes no sense. Either the audio cuts off or the audio is shit or the video is shit. I don't know. I don't know anymore. We have a big... Big program as well today, so I need OBS to perform at the fullest, and I need my riders to perform at their fullest. Strade Bianche, Paris Nice, Tirreno Adriatico. Well, sorry, Tirreno Adriatico. That's that's the plan. Um, if I seem slightly tired, it is 10 a.m. on a Sunday. I woke up to watch the World Championships, and I am not used to being awake before 12:30. With that known, let's go. Last season we had shocked the world because Brunner McNulty had won Le Strade Bianche. Um, still can't really wrap my head around the fact that I did that last year. But then again, we did many things that didn't really make sense last season. This year we have a much stronger team, uh, both generally speaking and also on the Strade Bianche because we've got Magnus Scherfeld, Jorgensen, Schmidt, Kung, Ull, McNulty and Besega. If that isn't one of the strongest teams I've aligned in a long time, then I don't know what is. We had sent Hugo in the breakaway uh, with Fabio Felline and Clément Champoussin. We've just been bridged by Ede Chiang. Have we now? Okay. Well, the Peloton better wake the fuck up because 50k to go and we've allowed a man with 81 hills to be in the break. Wait, did. Hold up. McNulty missed the corner and dropped Bissega. You're taking the pace. <sighs> I'm gonna start facing with Sheffield because I'm I'm pretty sure Ida Schelling is done. If Ida Schelling can't follow, that's fine by me. Hugo can potentially attack him and get him on the long run. Actually, no, uh, it does seems good because he just easily followed the attack of Hugo today. Ah, shit. Well, uh, Peloton may come back, please. Thank you. And Hugo drops Schelling again. Oh, and this time Shelling may not come back. I won't have an energy to go until the end, which is definitely going to be an issue. But uh, at least on paper, it looks good. Uh, who's this? Rem? I got a pace. I got a pace. <laughs> the work we've done in today's stage is simply outrageous. Uh, we, if I don't win the Strade I mean, there's, there's a good chance that I won't, if I'm honest. But... For the work we've done, we deserve to get something out of it. We really do. Brandon, Brandon, why do you stop? I gotta stop Sheffield. Brandon, you saboteur. 21 second is the lead for Remco Evenepoel with 5k to go. Um, is, are there any positives for me? Yes, one. One big one. Uh, there's, there's Cobbles and he's got 66. I have, I have 81 with Bissega today. That is the only positive. If I don't win with this team, then this is simply outrageous. Basically, go get closer to the wheel. We're gonna have to launch very early on. There goes Bissega. He's gonna bridge to Remco. Question is, does he have enough? No, he doesn't. No, he does not. Wait. No, Remco's dead. Come on, come on, Stefan. Run the outside. Up the inside this time. Nope, we were gonna lose this. I'm gonna lose this one to Remco Venepol. That one is solely on Brandon McNulty for making me lose like 10 seconds. And thus begins our Paranis. Um, it's gonna be mostly highlights. Uh, maybe the Queen stage, I'll play like we'll see most of what's happening, uh, like most of what will happen, sorry. Uh, but yeah, for the, the sprint stages, the flat stages, the boring stages, uh, I probably won't cover them all in their entirety because we've got Tirano as well and I don't want the episode to be 30 minutes just like the last one I'd rather be in that 20-22 minutes range um so yeah shit day all around as well for me good and in the final sprint we go uh, I still have way too many right wait, wait <laughs> why are my sprinters not in the wheel of my sprinters <sighs> great start of this episode really Strade Bianca my train has an issue here my train has an issue it, it's as if I can't play PCM anymore. Um, maybe I never could. Hmm. My watchmate has started. I did not think I would kill everyone doing so. 
Yep, yeah, that's that's fun. Uh, well, the win is not for me. It's going to be Maxi Schachmann, Mr. Paris himself, ahead of Mikel Frolich Honore and Gino Meda. Nice. Uh, Hugo would have won had he been better positioned, but that's not Joel Suter being a dickhead. Five kids ago, we're getting boxed in by the train of Quantas. Uh, I feel like I'm so good on an A380, Charles de Gaulle, and I can't move. <laughs> you always lose the wheel of your other fucking riders. <laughs> ah! Sorry, I'm having a mental breakdown, it's, it's 10 a.m. Um, so my sprinters have not taken the wheel of my sprinter. Wait. Wait, who are you? Oh, Caleb Ewan to the wheel of Magnus Sheffield. Ah, well, you just have to say that really early on. There we go, fuck you. There you go, have it. Uh, Magnus can start to sprint as well. I mean, I know Caleb is eventually going to come back, but I don't think taking the wheel of every single one of my lead out riders was the smartest of moves. Maybe maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Uh, it seemed like it was. Good. A P4 for Jeu de Suiter, though, with, with 73 sprint. It's alright, right? We've got a nice little hill stage. Um, we've got 10k left in said hill stage. Been quite fast pace. Uh, I tried to disrupt the, the peloton by, uh, by pacing 99 in the previous column. I kind of, it kind of work. Um, uh, only 120 riders left in the first group, but Caleb is still here. And he has the legs to follow Rigoberto Uran. Clearly, clearly my plan worked. Because I didn't expect Caleb Ewan to jump on every single attack. Stefan, please move and take the of Lenny Martinez. Thank you. Uh, also, I've realized that I am in a, in a treacherous situation going into this GC because there's mountain stage and time trial and my best rider in mountain is either Luis Mentis or Minky Story or Lenny Martinez, who I have just killed. I'll let you do the math that things aren't looking up for me. Uh, good rhythm by Stefan Kung. That's a bit early. That's, that's, yeah, that's early. Way too early. Alright, uh, Kelvin's gonna win. Nope. Vandenberg. Nope. Hugo Page. Hugo Page, we've got a French win on this Paris. Hugo Page, Vandenberg, and Hugo was gonna take P3. Get in. Today's where our Paris re begins. Uh, with the Sun Trial. Menkis already lost two and a half. Oh, sorry, two minutes ten. Uh, well. We're gonna follow that trend, I think, with most of my team. Magnus Sheffield with a minus one. Lovely. Yeah, it's a decent day for, uh, for Stefan Kung, who just lost the uh, World Championships to Tobias fucking Foss, who's already 38 seconds behind Remy Cavagna in Saint Etienne. Huh? How's that for realism? PCM. Uh, Stefan was quite far into it, and also I'm pretty sure he ran out of red, uh, meaning I've lost precious, precious time. Uh, Cavagna looks good, if I'm honest. Is there any, like, Pogacar Roglic for uh, Evenepoel? None of the above, by the looks of things. Remy Cavagna may take, finally, a, uh, a world to win on the time trial. We'll see if Stefan can do anything here, but I don't believe in him. Um, there's Luke Plapp across the line. Cheeky top 10 for Luke Plapp? Nope, 11th. Come on, Stefan. At least a top 5. Come on, son. 7th. Fuck me. Why is it with me and time trolls with Stefan Kung out of the moment? And Hugo seems headed the same way as uh, most of my team, which is far from Remy Cavagna. That's uh, disappointing. Sorry, that was times two. Um, but yeah. Disappointing today. And across the line for Hugo I haven't pushed him to the end because he has no energy. 106. He's our second best rider. I think I've been quite smart here for once. Um, but this is a hilly stage on Paris Nice. I'm not sure I've introduced it. Um, didn't make the breakaway. So I decided to just wait until this climb, the, uh, the Col de la Garde Dapt. Uh, attack with Joel Suter, Mentis in the wheel, and Mentis bridged everyone back after the KOM. I did get dropped because of this intimidated fucking sprint. Why? Why do you care about taking uh, six points? Sorry, three points and three seconds for the bag. Not gonna change your life, brother. Sadly, being smart doesn't equal to being strong. And I think we're gonna take an L today. Um, Minkies with a solid day up front. I mean, I got dropped twice on the climbs, mainly because I have no acceleration. But with 81 mountains, being dropped by Franck Bonamour on the third cat here did piss me off. Oh, I haven't seen Campanat has gone for a solo run. I thought he was in the breakaway, but he's not. He's literally just attack to do the, the what the seven eight kilometer play, and there's a 
world where he could do it. Sadly, that world doesn't include Garmin Cervelo chasing him back. And why do we chase him back? Well, to take P3, obviously. Although we did our tactical masterclass. Genius. Jose Mourinho could never. Gee! You go to take the stage, gets in. This is an interesting stage. It's a very interesting stage of the Pinis. Um Very steep climb here. Twenty percent gradient. The uh, Côte de la Colle sur Loup. Came. Came back on the breakaway. Uh, Han van Luka does not care. Has dropped us. Cool. I'd be lying if I said I knew what I was gonna do. Because 7k to go. I reckon the break has this. Uh, Richard Carapaz going for a move on the right hand side of here. Sorry, left hand side. And see Chris the rhythm with Luis Menchis. Uh, Sheffield Hugo, still in the wheel though for now. That's good. As long as Hugo stays with the best, can't complain. Uh, oh, it's a group of nine. We've drawn the Peloton. Okay, we haven't. We came back. <laughs> um, let's use the gel on Sheffield. We'll soon do the same on Hugo. The hill is basically done, then it's going to be a flat sprint. Oh, fuck you. Use this. Gino made that man. Why would you block me now? Why? 3k. Go on, Magnus. If you can lead Hugo well, that, that would be a second stage for uh, the main man. Sheffield, 1.3k, there you goes. There goes Hugo. That's a bit far, but there's a corner, so I figured that maybe with some chance we could get it. And the chance is on our side. Second win, very good. That's fine. 14 kilometers left in uh, this Tirana stage. McNulty is in the leading jersey, following yesterday's decent results. Um, is a gap. There's three seconds on paper though, it's not great. But it's better than nothing, I guess. It's better than being behind. Um, we are in La Madonna Dette, uh, or if it had been played in December, La Madonna d'hiver. That's a, it's a French joke, because uh, ete means summer, so hiver means winter. Either way, we move. Um, after this horrible, horrible pun, um, maybe, maybe I'm gonna get punished and not win with Brandon. Because I'm losing a lot to Dorian Gournon. Did they do all of this for the points? <laughs> Come on. Well, my dreams of winning Paris are now gone. It's a minus one for a goal today. Um, Sheffield with a plus five. Lenny plus two. Menkis, 80 mountain today. Okay. Okay. I know what I'm working with, I know what I need to achieve, I know I won't be able to achieve, but just like everything, I'm going to give it my best. Alright, we're going to start like Olympian. I think I'm going to go for Magnus Sheffield. Lewis will be here as a backup, definitely as a backup. Um, the reason I'm going for Sheffield is he's one minute ahead of, um, of Lewis in the GC. He does have minus three in mountain compared to the uh, South, uh, South African. But the rest of the stats are so much better. And I think I may be able to pull something in the Nice stage, should I? So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're gonna go like this. I don't know if it's the best course of action. Probably isn't for the Sage win. Possibly the best for the GC though. We've lost the yellow jersey of Remy Cavagna. Uh, who's in the lead? That is Mark Padden. Um, Mr. Dauphiné has uh, decided to peak a bit earlier. What jersey is that? Oh, that's BBVR. Okay. Magnus so far doing well. So far so good for uh, for the American. I've managed to not use too much of my energy. I'm staying at the back of the group, mostly. Um, I know it's never a really wise choice because of a sudden, if there's a sudden move, I can't respond to it. But I think today my aim is not to respond to any sudden move, it's just to have my steady rhythm and try to hold on as long as humanly possible for Magnus Sheffield. Luis Menkis is going to protect Magnus. Lenny is dead. 5k to go, 13 riders up front, we're still here. Uh, the top 10 is, is on the cards for Magnus today, I think. Okay, Michael Marpadon, as uh, Landa Vlasov and Carapaz are making a move, I'm not following that. Nope. <laughs> Nope, 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 nope. That is, uh, that is not gonna happen. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna finish 11th. I'm gonna finish 11th of the group. <laughs> I couldn't even get the best one. The best one was right there, that was Luke Plav. I'm gonna finish with him. 
know what? It's a nice story. Magnus Sheffield and Luke Lab finishing together. Final day in France for this Paris. Plus five for Luis Menkis. Hey, okay. Can, was I anywhere close to this one? Ah, yeah, Magnus Sheffield could potentially do something, but I think I'm going to struggle. Um, green jersey for Hugo. Would I? Could I lose it today? Definitely could, yeah. But we're going to try and, uh, and do our best to, uh, to retain it then. Um, so I've been pacing the entire day. And just as we've done the intermediate sprint, there's been a crash involving the yellow jersey. The Chakara passes down. Ha. <laughs> ha. You better believe I'm pacing. I'm gonna be a bitch. We are pacing 99 and we've lost a minute in a downhill portion on Fabien Dubé. What? I don't really know how to explain it. But we did. Uh, okay. Stefan is gonna go to the end. There we go. He's, no, he's now finished. Thank you, Stefan, for your, uh, your great work. And Magnus is going to get a few positions in the GC today, so I guess that's good, right? We're going to go for the, for the final sprints. There is one rider in the lead. That is Rigo Uran. Uh, I saw there's been a withdrawal. I, I don't know who it is. I didn't see. Uh, Luis Menkis is going to start the sprint with his 58 sprint and 66 acceleration. That's really going to put a dent into people's uh, hopes of winning a mass group. Magnus Sheffield is gonna go now. Hugo will sound, will do the same. I expected to see a flamme rouge. I didn't. Kudkowski, Schachmann, Rigo Uran, Magnus Sheffield. I think for the green jersey, I think I should be fine. How many points were given at the end? Fifteen. Oh, I, I was good, right? Uh, fifteen for Schachmann. Yeah, he can't get me. All right. Now the question is, what happens in the GC? Luke Plapp wins Paris ahead of Maxim van Riels and Magnus Sheffield. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Lovely. Then Uran Carapaz, Mira, Henley, Mentis, Van der Poel and Kwiatkowski. What a weird, weird way to finish Paris. That's a weird-ass podium, but I'll take it. And we do keep the green jersey with you. That's all that mattered. We have also, on the other hand, started Tirana Adratico. There was a time trial to uh, start the race, uh, which I did not play because, uh, well, I couldn't be asked. It's time trial, like uh, the classic Lido Di Camerare one. Um, I simmed it, McNulty got 5 seconds, lovely. Um, we're going to try and get the sprints with Fabien Lénard. In other words, we're going to try and come up in the top 20, which he's done once on the UAE Tour. And otherwise, we're going to fight for the GC with Brian McNulty and uh, Michael Woods. Well, there's been a crash involving Derek G and Fabien Lénard. And also James Piccoli. Ah, but Piccoli came back and crashed again. And just like Paris, my riders, I mean, I think Derek G got stuck in Nathan Pruner. Nathan Pruner was waiting for Derek to come through. Therefore, I've had to pace 99 and lose all my energy. Um, that, that, that's, that's it. That's, in, that's the end of the story. Um, but yeah, I'm fucked. Let's make it clear. Nathan, I beg you move. It's like they don't even try to make my life easier. Like, they, they just want to just piss me off. Uh, it's a great 99 rhythm from Alexandre Balmer. Uh, fuck me, who's this? Ball, more like bullet. Ow. Uh, I'm not in the top 25. Gazzoli takes it. Great start of this episode for me. I'm wow. doing an explanation as to why the peloton has gone, like, 89 since the start. Um, there was a few crashes along the way, mostly Talia Pogacar, Ron Dennis, Thibaut Pino, Brian McNulty, uh, some came back, mad, um, <laughs> mainly McNulty and Tade. some didn't, Thibaut Pino, then shock, um, but yeah, Peloton seems to have slowed down, maybe they were chasing down the breakaway, maybe that was the thing, why not hell? Of today's uh, fourth stage of Tirana between Cascata del Marmore and Belante, uh, it's already already a high rhythm. Uh, Peters and attack, and uh, sorry, Peters and turns have attacked. Just gonna try and uh, bridge at our normal rhythm and see what happens. Well, I'm gonna get fucking dropped. That's what happens. Wowzers! What the fuck? Seven hundred meters. That's good. Brandon, come on, come on, Brandon. Come through. Come through. No, in the middle. Not Brandon. Swerve your bike better, man. Right, who wins? <laughs> nice, Brandon McNulty, get in! Come on! Right, 
Nathan's gonna get out the front. Nice, lovely. Who's attacked? Aurélien Paripentre and Quinn Simmons. I think he signed Quinn Simmons, but I figured there could be some people maybe disliking the move of Quinn. That's why I went for um, Magnus Sheffield and um, Matteo Jorgensen. Because I'm now trying to please everyone in it. Uh, let's use the gel. I mean, it should be quite a straightforward finish. It's very similar to Paris Nice finish that you have seen. Because I think I've played Paris Nice first. Because this time I've put it in order. Um, but it's very similar to that Paris Nice finish. Uh, I won with Hugo. Or maybe you won. No, I didn't win it. I didn't win it now that I think about it. Uh, but either way, Michael Woods is going to lead out. Brandon Inyo. McNaught. Oh, look! <laughs> it's my team. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Fabio Lina and Derek G about to get lapped. Gets in. Quinn Simmons, Brandon McNulty, Ben O'Connor. We're on the cobble sector as well here. Uh, oh, it's a battle of the Americas. Brandon McNulty is the best American nonetheless though. Gets in. Lovely. Okay, cool. We're on the queen stage of this Tirano upon us. Uh, it is a plus two for Michael Woods and a plus two for Brandon McNulty. Okay, cool. Uh, what's my gap? 25, 30 seconds? 24 and 33 seconds respectively on Pedro Bowen's side for guitar. Okay, 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 okay. So that's, that's alright, that's alright. There's one thing I'm worried about. Well, I'm really worried about. And that would be the Peloton not caring about the breakaway because I'm in the lead. So I'm going to try and attack with uh, with my cores just early on. Just to see if the Peloton cares. Because if not, then I've got someone up front. And I found a way to force the Peloton's face and that's to attack. So I'm going to start with James Balma, sorry no, Alexandre Balmer, James Piccoli and Derek G. That's the best thing I could have done, because when I don't attack, they don't pace. And I'm not good enough to chase down the breakaway. Wait, are they now letting me go? I hadn't seen that coming. Okay, we've been co-op. 3 minutes, 44k to go. We'll see what we can do. Um, I think we're going to be able to cap the breakaway, or at least not get like 10 minutes down, like we would have been had I not paced. So I guess so the, on, on that end, that's good. Actually, the gap is now 5 minutes. 4 minutes, sorry. Who are you? Marc Saro. Yeah, that felt... Why are we leading the main climb with Marc Saro? That's, that's just a recipe for disaster. Lots of attacks. Lots of attacks in uh, Monte Carpegna. The gap is now 5 minutes with the breakaway. Um, I'm quite scared. It is the last thing I got up front, to be fair. Gap was, well, he's 520 down. I know Rubio was in the break. He's the one that worries me the most here. Yeah. 258, okay, cool. Uh, also, Michael Woods is dead. Not something I had uh, anticipated. Michael Woods won't be able to come back in, uh, well, before the final climb, so I guess Michael Woods is on his own. 350 is the gap with the breakaway. Uh, would I be wrong in saying I'm probably going to lose the GC today? I think I am. But no, I think I would be right, actually, saying I'm going to lose the GC. Uh, first of all, I need you to be better positioned than Georg Steinhauser, and then we can talk. Uh, the rhythm is ruthless. The, this rhythm is just... just not it. Uh, Bilbao, anywhere? Oh yeah, yeah, he's dropped everyone. <laughs> funny, funny, real funny. Sorry, Bilbo just slapped a minute on me. And I, because like, I dropped today. See, so I'm not doing badly. Hey yo, where the, f the fuck did that come from? Well, congrats on Pedro Bilbao for winning Tirreno Adoracico. Nothing I could have done today. Despite the best efforts of Mark Dundina to try and pace me back for some odd reason. Uh, oh, because he's too late down in the GC, that's probably why. Um, yeah, Bilbao just destroyed everyone today. Gonna guess he had a plus 5. Because that was simply ridiculous from him. Uh, we we got put in a spliff by Martin Dina, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, oh, don't tell me I get... I lose position to fucking Lutsenko as well, don't I? Oh, that's just sad. Uh, Tadej, though, he was the one I was worrying the most about, but he's lost like 5 minutes. We do lose a place in the GC to Fausto Masnara, which is another thing I didn't see coming, uh, but we're going to retain 3rd and finish on the podium of Tirano this year. Well, the end of Tirano has definitely been a, a lot less impactful than Paris Nice is, uh, but with 3k to go, we are remarkably badly positioned. I don't know where Alexandre Banmer is, my sprinter is in the mud, 
then again, it's it's a typical deck for Fabian Lienard, we will say. Um, Alright, good. Win for Mikel Gattoli. How many points at the end? Again, 12. Could anyone catch Brandon? Yes, Bilbao could. Bilbao is not there. Gets in. Only five wins in this episode. A uh, bit underwhelming, I guess. Uh, even if we extend that to podiums. We, we do get second and third of Stradivanka. I'm still pissed, I didn't win it. Uh, we get third of the GC in Paris, third of the GC in Tirreno. We do get the points jersey on both Tirreno and Paris, which I think is quite cool. Um, but yeah, it's a... Uh, I'm a bit disappointed. I expected better. I, I wanted to at least win one. Uh, then again, I guess that's what the new difficulty does. One mistake and I'm fucked, or just one plus five for anyone else and I'm fucked. Uh, but yeah. Next episode. Sam Remo, uh, De Pan et Trois Vevel Game, uh, Tars of Landeren. I think Catalonia is one of those boring races no one ever does. Uh, if like I can pull a masterclass, I'll record it. But I'm not sure I will. I will. Um, very short on time right now, because uh, I have three episodes to record and edit, and I have 24 hours to do it. So maybe you'll only have two episodes instead of three in the coming week. Because uh, I'm off on holidays, and uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Nevertheless, I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. Now, if you haven't, then please do leave a like down below, and I will see you in the very near future. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on, girl.